Hi people, welcome to Chess 24/7, and you are encountering another online chess blitz video. And it has been a long time since I had posted my last video because I was a bit busy, so I did not get enough time to put some videos online. But anyhow, because I am having a uh, free time, I thought why not post a chess video. So anyhow, I am on chess lichess.org, and I am playing. Uh, game with white pieces. So let's go for e4 by the way And we have e5 okay, so I'll go for knight f3 My favorite opening is always to go for e4 and if possible then go for knight f3 d6 so we have a fillet door defense now, but my favorite way to play fillet door is to go for d4 attack the center And if black takes, which I think he should, yes, yeah, in that case, I'll capture with my knight. Okay, so we have knight, bishop d7. I'll just develop my knight. Okay, so we have some pressure on this knight. I can defend my knight with the bishop on c7, but... I would like to place my bishop to a pretty aggressive square that is c4 keeping an eye on the f7 square so that I can castle and then I can start attacking my opponent's king side because this pawn is, is kind of a weakness for black okay so knight e5 my bishop is being hit I think a a good square for this bishop would be bishop b3 I am still keeping an eye on this f7 square and we have c5 in that case I can play my knight to b5 but I think that might not be I mean after knight b5 I'm hitting the I'm hitting the bishop I'm hitting the pawn on d6 but then my knight would be after i mean let's say the bishop can move and then the queen and the bishop would be protecting the pawn but then my knight would have to go back after a6 at some point in the game so in that case the other move that i am considering is knight f5 which i will play because now if something like g6 is played i can retreat my knight to e3 and then to this hole on d5 okay so he's taking my bishop my knight with his bishop and i don't like this move because he's giving away his bishop pair plus he's moving the same piece twice c4 okay so i can give my opponent a check and can keep him busy and now i can just castle very easily and plus my rook is coming to the e file a6 okay so he's planning to trap my bishop with b5 on the next move but i think but before moving my before taking this knight i would like to put some more pressure on the king because this kinds of force my opponent okay so he has played bishop e7 now i would like to take the bishop because now this is kind of ruining the uh, pawn structure on the king on the queen side and now i can develop my queen with tempo because now i'm hitting the c6 pawn and if possible i can take the pawn with the check okay d5 and i think i can put some pressure on the pinned piece and if he plays his pawn to f6 which he did in that case i can retreat my bishop but the problem is now with f6 this knight is deprived of its natural square so he has to the knight has to be deployed to some inferior square such as h6 and now i would love to capture this knight because this way the pawns on both the sides are ruined plus it gives me a an opportunity to check my opponent and then to grab this pawn So this is getting better for me now. 
okay so let's just put some more pressure on the pinned piece because now this bishop is pinned and i think this is a mistake because now a simple tactic of deflection would work because now the rook on a h8 is now undefended and i can take the rook and i think you should just give up at this point because he's just losing another piece here and i would like to take care of this d4 square okay so he has something going on but i don't see any any uh, good way to attack my my king because it's it is having a uh, it is having ample of protection now and i think this check is also coming in forcing my opponent's king to go to one of these squares on the e, on the second on the seventh rank and then i can take this rook and i think i don't know how he's going to play now because again this knight this pawn is in a pin so i don't know how he's going to play And I think there's nothing that black can do now. Okay, so yes, resigned. I think it was a it was a pretty interesting game. Let's have a look at the analysis board. And by the way, LHS has improved a lot. They have given us a lot of features that other websites are not giving. So I would recommend definitely go to lhs.org. Anyhow. So I played e4, e5, knight f3, d6, d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop d7. Normally I see knight c6, but knight, but then, but then I, I think bishop d7 is also fine. There's nothing wrong in, in bishop d7. Knight c3, simple development. Knight c6, knight c3, uh, I mean bishop c4. Knight e5 hitting the bishop I think my opponent was playing a game based on tempos and not he was not strategizing his game and after c5 I played the reason I did not go for uh, bishop no, knight b5 is because let's say after this and the pawn is protected very easily although now this can come into place but after okay yeah, this is a good move because now the if the if, actually I can't play that move because now the, then my other knight would be hanging. So let's say after I develop my 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 bishop, then I think after a six, my knight is on a on an inferior square. Plus I have some some uh, I mean then my opponent can play c four and after bishop. I think at this point the bishop is lost because after bishop a4 b4 is coming and the bishop is lost which is why I did not play at this point I did not go for uh, knight b5 and after this exchange I think my plan was simple to attack my opponent and because he was behind in development and his king was in the center of the board so my idea was to attack and somehow gain some uh, play and this is a mistake this is a blunder we can easily see that by this i am up by a full piece and after this i think he was just playing uh, I, I mean there is no reason to, to play this game at this point because there's nothing that black can do black is down by a full piece at this point and his king is in the center of the board there is a lot of pressure on the king of my opponent's king anyhow i hope you like this video and if you did then Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and yes, I'll try to be more consistent because I, I mean, I was attending my classes and which is why I couldn't get time to upload more videos, but I'll try to be more consistent this time onwards. So anyhow, see you in my next video. Till, till then, take care. Tada. Goodbye. Good day.